High blood pressure, often dubbed the silent killer, operates in the shadows with its lack of noticeable symptoms. The lone path to its discovery lies in monitoring blood pressure levels. Nevertheless, a subset of individuals grappling with high blood pressure might encounter signs like intense headaches, nosebleeds, fatigue, confusion, vision disturbances, chest discomfort, breathlessness, or erratic heartbeats. It's imperative to recognize that these indicators are vague and typically manifest when high blood pressure escalates to a severe or life-threatening stage. During medical visits, healthcare professionals frequently emphasize weight loss, adopting a low-sodium diet, and, depending on your medical history, possibly enhancing potassium intake. Today, our focus sharpens on the trio of minerals pivotal to blood pressure management, potassium, calcium, and an oft-overlooked contender, magnesium. So, how can you take proactive steps to manage your blood pressure? Let's delve into the world of three essential minerals that can truly make a difference, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Potassium, this remarkable mineral boasts a pivotal role in maintaining optimal blood pressure levels. By relaxing blood vessel walls, potassium helps decrease blood pressure and averts the discomfort of muscle cramps. It's also an unsung hero in promoting the proper function of both nerves and the heart. But there's more to the story. Potassium plays a unique role in suppressing the sympathetic nervous system, thereby reducing renin and angiotensin II production, both of which are notorious for their role in elevated blood pressure. The stimulation of Na+, K+, ATPase activity enhances the excretion of sodium, culminating in a reduction in blood pressure levels. Furthermore, potassium boosts nitric oxide production, a key player in triggering vasodilation and safeguarding the integrity of blood vessels. Additionally, potassium's antioxidant ability lowers oxidative stress, protecting the vascular endothelium. Its anti-inflammatory and free radical scavenging properties also reduce the burden of hypertension and its complications. Embracing potassium-rich foods, such as kiwi, banana, papaya, mango, cantaloupe, tomato, avocado, oranges, coconuts juice, prunes, apricots, sweet potatoes, legumes, artichoke, mushroom, parsnip, and okra, can work wonders for your cardiovascular health. However, it's worth noting that if you're on diuretics such as hydrochlorothiazide, which can deplete potassium, diminishing overall levels. Many patients taking diuretics for heart failure, hypertension, or edema lack sufficient dietary potassium. In such instances, supplements are considered under medical guidance. Caution is advised against self-supplementation, as excessive or insufficient potassium can trigger hazardous irregular heart rhythms. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, prescribes 4.7 grams daily for men and women aged 51 and above. Calcium, beyond its renowned role in building strong bones, calcium's influence extends to maintaining healthy blood pressure. Its ability to prompt blood vessels to contract and relax in harmony contributes to the delicate balance of blood pressure. Delve deeper, and you'll discover that calcium is a conductor in the intricate symphony of smooth muscle contraction, playing a direct role in regulating vascular tone. By augmenting diuretic effects and modulating blood volume, calcium casts its influence on the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, subsequently impacting blood pressure. Additionally, CA2 plus indirectly impacts blood pressure by modulating parathyroid hormone, PTH, secretion, with a direct blood pressure effect. Given the ongoing debate, Many healthcare professionals recommend obtaining calcium primarily from dietary sources rather than relying solely on supplements. Calcium is readily available in natural sources like dairy products, certain fish, such as canned salmon and sardines, and dark, leafy greens. If meeting your calcium needs through food alone proves challenging, consider discussing calcium supplementation with your physician for personalized guidance. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, prescribes a daily calcium intake of 1,000 to 1,200 mg for men aged 51 and older and 1,200 mg for women in the same age group. Nevertheless, some experts argue that these levels may be set too high, with certain studies hinting at a potential link between calcium supplements and an increased risk of heart disease. Magnesium, often overlooked but crucial, magnesium is a multifaceted mineral that holds the reins to various bodily systems. Its significance spans from regulating blood pressure and blood sugar to overseeing muscle and nerve function. Magnesium's ability to promote blood vessel relaxation, energy production, and bone development makes it an indispensable player in blood pressure management. Remember, much like potassium, magnesium can be depleted due to diuretic use. The National Institutes of Health, NIH, 
reports that many older adults in the US don't get enough magnesium in their diets, but severe deficiency is rare. It's best to obtain magnesium from foods like dark, leafy greens, unrefined grains, and legumes. The RDA for magnesium is 420 mg per day for men aged 50 and older and 320 mg per day for women in the same age group. However, excessive magnesium from supplements or magnesium-containing medications, like laxatives, can cause diarrhea. Magnesium from food sources has no known adverse effects. If you suspect that your mineral levels are lacking, it's advisable to consult your healthcare provider before considering supplements. Striking the right balance is key to reaping the benefits without encountering any unintended consequences. We've explored the pivotal roles of potassium, calcium, and magnesium in managing high blood pressure. By incorporating these vital minerals into your dietary habits, you're taking a proactive stride towards safeguarding your well-being. Small dietary adjustments can yield substantial improvements. Thanks for watching.